Hello and welcome to part 14, or is it 15 already? I believe it's 15. Yeah, it's 15. So we're looking at PlayStation Zone Demo Volume 15, and this time on the cover there's a, well, a military shooter type of game, I guess, Rainbow Six or something. On the CD itself, it's another game for a change now, um, which seems like Demolition Racer, I believe. You can see that in the thumbnail what is on the cover of the CD itself. So before we start, as always, I would like to to remind you that you can skip the content in the comment and description description timestamps. And um, I would also like to say that I'm not quite sure if I played the demo, this very demo back then. I believe I did test it, but again, yeah, I don't remember quite exactly. So anyway, let's check out the save games, which are new for action game, of which we played the demo on the last issue. You're getting level, level 1, 2, 3, played through, 5 weapons plus costumes. Okay, for Destrega, you're getting all characters. For Final Fantasy VIII, you're getting end of the third CD. For GTA 2, you're getting all three cities, choosable. For Hot Wheels, of which we played... No, we've only seen a video, right? Uh, you're getting all cars. For Pong, which we they play, I believe, you're getting all worlds, choosable. For RC Stunt Copter, you're getting Amateur Pilot plus Captain played through. For Rising Zen you're getting the second to last level. <coughs> Excuse me. For Spyro 2 you're getting... you're basically at the end boss. Okay. For Star Wars Episode 1 of which we played a demo on the last issue you're getting... <laughs> you're, you're getting um, very near to the end boss. And for Worms Armageddon, of which we played a demo on the last issue as well, I believe, you're getting all special options. Okay, so here we got, we got as always, the tips and tricks and cheats and games encyclopedia, but we're going, as always, right into the hit tip. So games that released fairly recently, which is Box, Champ Box Champions 2000, which should have released in... Uh, November 99 then. By the way, this is the issue 02 2000, so it did release in the beginning of December 99. Oh, we got Crash, Te Crash Team Racing, yeah, that released in October or November as well, I believe November. Yeah, we've seen a lot of this game already. Oh, Dino Crisis, so this released in October or November as well, finally. We've seen it also very, very often in the older issues. Yeah, it's a great looking and very good game. FIFA, okay, well, they're of course putting it in again. I mean, it's a soccer game, right? Let's just skip quickly through the screens. That's it. Final Fantasy VIII, because that's a quite a phenomenal game, we might just as well take a closer look again. Yeah, these are the screens from the last issue, pretty surely. Yeah, summoning one of those monsters from a 199, probably the same screenshots as in the last issue as well. Yep. Soccer life. Wow, again. Well, let's just skip quickly through it. And GTA 2. Well, that is quite the special game. But I do believe these are, again, the same screenshots as on the last issue. Great. Well, this is basically the same scene just like a second later or something. <clears throat> anyway. Killer Loop, yeah, the very very difficult but technically rather impressive wipe out clone if you want so. Metal Gear Solid Special Missions. Yeah, 
we've seen that one really a lot, and this one as well. Would be nice if they could finally pack in some more new games in the newly released section, because, you know, there must have been a ton of new games that released around October and November 99. 99 is one of the best gaming years ever. So it kind of sucks that they would repeat so many games. Obviously, they would concentrate on the on the on the good games. This is why it's the hit tip section. You know, you're getting tips for game hits. <laughs> but um, yeah, it would still be nice if there would be some variety in the shell. Yes, we've seen that on the last issue as well. This game we've seen a lot of times. We did play a demo of this as well, one of the earlier is issues, so you can check that out as well. This very much looks like Germany. Okay, Spyro 2. Yeah, I've seen a, lo a lot of this game, but um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Still pretty good that they would show it again because yeah, this is definitely one of the best games of the entire PS1 library. The entire trilogy, by the way. There were three Spyro games. Excuse me, I got a drink. Take a sip. Well Tartson. We've seen that one as well. <laughs> Tom Pride of all, we played a demo of this on the second to last issue and they are showing the same screens again from the last issue which are from the demo we played on the second to last issue. Tomorrow never dies. Yeah, we've seen this ge game very much and many times as well. Yep. And the last ones as well. So I'll just quickly skim through the available screenshots. Yep, that's that. And of course, there's another soccer game, you know. Hiish. Good. Wipeout 3, well that's definitely a true hit. And Worms, which we played on the last issue. And had actually five rounds of play, playtime, basically of five fights against the CPU and only one on the fifth, but then quite, um, sp well, spectacularly, maybe not, but more so hilariously, I think. So you can ch check that out on the last issue. Soon to be released, it says Ace Common Free. Only, f only three games this time here, Space Debris. 26th of January 2000, okay. We didn't, didn't see this game all too often. Spec Ops, January 2000. This might be the game from the cover here, from the main menu picture. Now for a PS1 game, yeah, looks good. Toy Story 2, finally new screens, I believe. 27th of January. Mm -hmm. oh, some scenes from the movie. And now finally, it's coming free on 19th of January. Yeah, I believe I remember it actually did release back then and I bought it pretty much new back then as well. Some new screens in here as well. Well, this is, was somewhat the, you know, the, um, um, how do you say, the, 
I just can't remember. It's, it was basically set in, the f in a future setting, you know. So, work in progress, games that are a little far into the distance. We've seen all of these games a lot of times already, so I guess I'll skim rather quickly here for the screenshots as well. Mostly no new screenshots as well, as I can see, as I can tell, as much as I can tell. Oh, and here we have gotta go back always, okay, why not? And again, Colin McRae, and again, it's the same, the same screenshots, you know. Nothing new. Colony Wars 3, I guess that's gotta be the same as well. Yeah, Destruction Derby as well. And again, it's the same CGI pre-rendered screenshots for like half a year. So six issues of these demo CDs, I believe. Man, Eagle One, Harry Attack. Yeah, same screens as on the last issue, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Fear Effect. Oh wow, this didn't even release yet. I know there was even a second game. And the first game released like half a year before the PS2 came out. Well, that's interesting. I do have this game, it's on 4 CDs. That was always very impressive back then. Like, wow, this game is so huge, it's gotta be on 4 CDs. Uh, now let's check this out. Yeah, finally some new screens. Oh, it says February 2000, they really pushed it into 2000? Huh, didn't think that. And then Ford Mustang, the, the new one back then, SVT Mustang. For Fiat. International Shirt and Field 2, yeah, we've seen this one a lot of times already, so that's not very super interesting or anything. Engine, the flight simulation type of game, yeah. Prince Nazim Boxing, you gotta be kidding me. We've seen this game so many times, so they must have pushed that back quite a lot. Oh, Raymond 2. Yeah, I've seen a lot of screens of this as well. It just says 2000. At least they were honest, they, they, they didn't know when they would release it, really. Roll Cage Stage 2. Now, does this have a definitive release date? Not yet. Maybe on the next or well, some of the next issues, definitely. First quarter of 2000, it says. Sheep. Now, does this have one? No, just February 2000. Okay. Star Trek New Worlds. Right. Techno Mage. No, it also still just says just 2000. Tiny Tanks says what? First quarter of 2000, okay. And Toka WTC. Yeah, that was definitely a sometime in 2000, relatively close to the release of the PS2, like half a year before or even earlier, or less, I mean. Okay, so that was for all the screenshots on this CD, now let's take a look at the movies. Micromaniacs, 24 Hours of Le Mans, The Smurfs, Prince Nazim Boxing. And Worms Pinball. Okay, let's take a look at the Worms Pinball first. Yeesh, that sounds exciting. Multiball! I only know multipass. Multipass, multipass. From the fifth element.
that was that. So now let's take a look at Prince Nazim Boxing. A game of which we didn't see a lot yet. Well, that was sarc sarcasm. We, we've seen that game like, I don't know, it feels like 10 times already. On the screens at least. Alright, now let's look at the Smurfs. Hey, see mal an. an. Als Schlumpf, Baby. Oh, der ist ja noch ganz klein. Also, was schlumpft denn hier los? Sieh mal, was ich heute früh vor meiner Tür gefunden habe, Papa Schlumpf. Ein Schlumpf, Baby. Ach, ist der goldig. Ein Schlumpf, Baby. Ein Schlumpf, Baby. Ich schätze, er hat Hunger. Wir werden ihm etwas zu essen schlumpfen. Papa Schlumpf. Hier. Ja. I remember playing a pretty good Smurf game on the Super Nintendo. It was pretty tough. But again, I was like 9, 10 years old. Well, that's partially 3D at least. Well, actually, it's entirely 3D, but a 2D um, side scrolling point of view. And the Super Nintendo was obviously entirely 2D. So the Smurfs are pretty small, huh? if these little beings look like giants next to them, the Smurfs must be pretty tiny. That was it. Now is the next game. Let's look. take a look at the Micromaniacs. Oh, this is this top-down racing game, but here you were running, right? Graphics look pretty good. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, by Codemasters again as the Toka and Colin McRae rally series. So they were all into racing, even with, with humanoid figurines, you know. Well, obviously it's running, but it uh, well, would be called a racing game, not a running game. Well, they did it right though. I mean, even this game was pretty good as a, as far as I remember. And the Tokas and Colin McRae's were just absolutely fantastic games. I like the themes of the of the levels, you know, like a children's playroom like here or the kitchen and all of that. I mean, it has been done to death. Obviously, even in the 90s there were such games, I mean, uh, 80s. So this is a game from the 90s, well, okay, 2000s, so not more from the 90s, but basically a 90s product. But still, um, I kind of I kind of like when when games do that. You're looking at a such a room for a very different point of view. And now, lastly, 24 hours of the night. Yeah, yeah, I do remember playing this game. It was... I was disappointed. It wasn't really bad, honestly. But, yeah, I don't know. I kind of found it difficult. That is really unbelievable! Looking pretty good during the night though, I gotta say. Thankfully they are driving in June, they are in France, where the night nights are the shortest and the days logically the longest, so they wouldn't drive all too, all that long during, during the dark. It was the Dutch Viper he overtook, by the way. Now let's Porsche this one. I don't know. These prototypes, like I'm pretty knowledgeable when it comes to car models, but with these Le Mans prototypes and other prototypes, like I almost have almost no idea at all. Even this, I don't know. I guess that's a Lister? Possibly? Not quite sure. So this should be a Porsche 911 GT1. That's part of the intro, I think. Or of, of the end credits. And it sounds like, yeah, that's gotta be a copyright strike. 
yet again. I hope not. So, which demos are there and what should we uh, check out first? Oh man, okay. Now, would you look at that? Two action games, one action racer, the the the, the, the um, fighter jet game, and the creative music 2000. Did we play exactly this one on the demo? I believe we played the like the first part of this game. Hmm. I think we should play that as the last one. It might take a while. So let's first check that out. That interests me a little the least, and I would say. Well, it's probably Millennium Soldier. Yeah, the arcade game. So this is how you control. Is this just some type of traffic? Oh, there they are. Honestly, it seems like a neat demo. What do the other... Oh, that is good. What do the other... Now I change the weapon. Oh, shit. What do the other buttons do? But now I know. Ammo is, by the way, not infinite. Good to know. I guess. Whoa, that was close. So what do I do now? Whoa, what is going on? Were these the good guys? I guess they weren't. Ah, oh, the controls. I gotta get better. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! What am I doing? No! Oh, nose! Oh, to nose! What if I just run through like that? I might hit them. I actually do. That was kinda good. That was kinda well done. I mean, can I destroy it completely? Huh. Maybe. Nice. Oh, you survived. You know what? Let me try out oh, some of the other weapons. Okay, come on. I couldn't have seen that one co that one coming, you know? That, that was kind of mean. <laughs> like, that hit me out of nowhere. Then there's even this weapon. Okay. Oh, now I got like like an upgrade. Uh, what is happening? Ooh. Whoa. How <laughs> I. Are they attacking me so vigorously? Assholes. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there they are. This weapon doesn't seem to be the best one. can't tell me I can blow this up. This just needs oh, some more new shots now. I mean, it is affected by my shots, so it needs to blow up. Oh, this is infinite. This weapon is infinite. Infinite ammunition, I mean. Okay, come on, now it's six lasers at the same time. Now, if I don't destroy it now, then I don't know where. Okay, it seems to not break at all. Honestly, this game is fun. The special effects are pretty good. It seems like a better apocalypse. But I might be completely wrong about that. It just seems that way. Okay, they melted the UFO melted the street. Okay. No, no, that's not where I wanted to go. Come on, chill out, chill out. Oh, that's a new weapon. Whoa, that's actually really good. I uh, kinda cannot really control him now. <clears throat> oh, my infinite ammo weapon is gone. That sucks. Mm, can I jump? I don't need to jump though. Hey, there might be something hidden. No? I cannot go up there? Huh. That sucks. Yeesh, what is that? What is going on? I just want to take this. Come on, no! Don't disappear. So, where do we need to go now? That's pretty good. Oh, can I destroy this one? It's kind of nice how the terrain mesh just melts. Or terrain mesh. What is going on again? I'm overwhelmed and overwhelmed quite a bit. This is certainly some type of. to get all these upgrades, please. Honestly, is this not an enemy that I need to fight? It seems I'm not doing any damage to it. Is that right? Oh shit. What am 
I supposed to do? I, I believe I just didn't figure out the, the important thing, whatever that might be. Oh, no, 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 Life bar? I don't know. I, can, uh, I honestly cannot figure out what to do. And now I'm kind of stuck. Oh. I did defeat it. Oh, come on! I didn't even see where I was. That's just so dumb. So lame. I cannot get out. Now I am finally burning it, it seems. Why did it not work beforehand? Yeah. Gotta love how it does the same stupid sound as all the enemies that die. Why did I... Why did I die now? says I'm supposed to go in there. Well, now I can. Okay. Did they just fuck around too long? Maybe. Yeah, that was a good game. I really liked it. Is it really the better apocalypse? Ah, I don't know. But they're kind of really the same. And I like them both. So Apocalypse is a similar game that we played, or that I played on one of the earlier issues. So the next one, again, let's do the next shooter, would be Rainbow Six. Red Storm. So this gotta be something with Russians again, I guess. Move to Caribbean and press X to see the briefing. You will find the specific objectors. The controller is not having ideal connection again. And now it works. Barely. <sighs> advisor, second advisor. I kinda don't wanna see that control. Operation Sundell. American and Brazilian nationals have been kidnapped from a horizon construction site in the Amazon rainforest. They are being held nearby at the stronghold of the of one Ramon Calderon, a known drug trafficker. Your mission is to terminate Calderon's operation with minimum civilian losses. Yeah, whatever. Well, I've seen the briefing. How can I... Yeah, yeah. How can I please just... Oh, this is how it goes. Okay. Intel, European... So now I gotta take a guy. So the one in the middle seems like the best, but he has a li little stealth. Now oh, let's take him. Beckenbauer selected. Move to another face and press. Sweat? No, I, I would like to select him. We'll take the German guy, Beckenbauer. Primary weapon, uh, I guess that's 
fine, you know. Let's just say yes to everything. Finish mission set up and enter game. Yeah, I guess. Let's do this. Oh, of course it's during the night and I have literally two minutes for the entire demo. Uh, that's that. That's square. Auto run on. Okay, how do I jump? Okay. Oh, L1. Okay, I entered the flat. R1 is shooting. Okay, oh, inverted controls. Gotta hate those. Oh, and someone is already attacking me? Who is it then? I would like to go into the door. How do... This is so dumb. Let me open the door. It, who's shooting at me? Well, that was kind of really stupid. Ah. Can I shoot those kaput? No, I can't. Would still like to find out how to effing move into. Okay, then throw the grenade. At least we use the flashbang. That's all for the demo, then, I guess, huh? Your time's up. Time to go purchase this sensational new action title from Red Storm Entertainment. Available in, in retail stores everywhere. This is a unique blend of strategy and stealth. Rainbow Six will immerse you in a world of high suspense and intense action. Yeah, sure. Sure, Jen. Lead your elite multinational strike force battling deadly terrorists and 14 life or death missions. Use night vision goggles to improve self, real world weapons and gear, including sniper rifle. Nothing comes closer to offering such hyper realistic, I guess, stealth action. Released Autumn 99. Yeah, you know, the, the with the graphics, the given graphics and the controls. Nah, that's a pass for me. And they were so generous as to give you two entire minutes <laughs> to play the shitty game. And they knew if you would have more time, you could, you would have more time to make make up your mind how shitty it actually is. I just tried this game and it did turn off rather quickly, so um, this is the second time I'm trying it. And I'm, I guess I'm gonna rush it. We'll, we'll just take any car, you know, and just jump into the game. Because I didn't even get to play the game, it, it turned off so quickly. I guess this is like, there is an internal timer on the demo and it will turn off rather quickly, it seems. Yeah, I remember having played this demo over there, now I do remember. Oh, wh why is he not accelerating or anything? Oh, I needed to use the analog stick, sorry guys. I messed up right from the beginning. So we took the 
basically a shortcut. Yeah, we're going 180 miles with this piece of shit car. <laughs> sure, you know. That's really sick. You know, on, on basically on, on a dirt track as well. But going easily to 180 mph. I didn't even see the wall on the left side. This is how samey it looks to the to the rest of the level. Come on. But yeah, I guess this game tries to replicate basically high octane action racing, right? Ah, I would would have liked hitting him even harder. That would have been kind of not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah, the damage well model seems to be done rather well. Three laps. I don't even know if we can survive three laps of this, quite honestly. I guess it's nicely done. It plays well, it runs really well, very good. Consistent frame rate. I mean, it looks. Whoa! What was that? It's not. Oh man, this is just me now. They're, they're gonna trash me. This is not super consistent. Oh, nice, that some are actually already broken. Man, this race went so well for us. We were in the top five all the time. <laughs> I can barely make out anything. And now, oh, come on! No, don't crash! No, 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 no! Even if I'm quick, please don't crash. Okay, final, finally, we are in the top five again. It seems. Third. What is happening? The game just just turned off. Oh, okay. Initial results, but the, the, the race wasn't even over, right? I mean, okay, we reach, reached even what third place? Yeah, not too bad. Okay, not very many points. Okay, continue. Let's just quickly check out the replay. <laughs> I was tipping on the horn. Yeah, this game is not particularly a looker, but it runs in a very fluid frame rate. It runs really quickly. The speed feeling is quite nice. There are lots of cars on track. Each car has, you know, AI physics, and each car has a pretty well done damage model, I think. So yeah, there's still going a lot, going on a lot for for this game graphically. There are destructible, destructible objects on track and stuff. So yeah, that's not too shabby. <laughs> that was awesome. They did a nice presentation style here. It looks, you know, it looks quick, it looks fast, it looks yeah, fast and furious, ha ha ha. And here was my bigger mistake when they would crash into me. Yeesh! Oh, that <laughs> that killed him. <laughs> so crashing into me finally killed him 
at last. I like how <laughs> it looks so ridiculous, how the tires are wobbling, you know, to the left and right, as to barely staying, you know, on the car, like they would fall off every, every second. So, that was Demolition Racer. I guess quit, yeah. 12 torturous tracks designed for full metal contact. Insane last man standing demolition derby bowl match. 8 different vehicles to race including the deadly high impact hearse. Here, here's two players split screen racing demolition bowl matches, trashing original soundtrack and remixes by Fear Factor, Junkie XL, Imperion and Cirrus? Cirrus? Kiras? Yeah, the soundtrack seemed fitting in my opinion, yeah. Now let's go for Eagle Woman Harrier attack. That's such a random intro, is it the intro? Okay, it's an intro to the developer, so to say. Okay. The Harrier is also featured in one of the sequences in Metal Gear Solid 2, right? On the on the bridge, or was that completely removed from the game? I can't remember anymore. Flight model. What do they mean? What roll lock on automatic hover? No, off. All off. I want it to be realistic. There's a two-player and two-player versus mode. Nice. Small number of uh, so by reinforcement imminent previously dormant. Halikala Volcano has shown signs of activity, okay? So even a volcano eruption might await us in this dangerous mission. The skies over Maui, 29th of April, 18. Our intel suggests the terrorists are planning to push west to strengthen their positions on that side of the island. They'll have to bring their troops across the bridge near Puanene. If you destroy it, you'll buy us valuable time. Okay. You'll need to meet up with the refueling tanker first. Match its speed and heading, then refuel by guiding your nose probe to the end of the fuel line. Ooh, yeah, I, I do remember a little bit of that. So the ground crew can load you with the weapons you'll need. We're equipping you with a new X5 Red Hawk Wong. Use them on the bridge, save your missiles for the enemy units. That was quite a simulation heavy game. I, yeah, here it goes. I don't know how, how I did that so easily this time around, because the last times that was catastrophic, really. That didn't go well at all. Refuel complete. Okay, refuel complete. So what do I do now? What do I do now? What happens when I shoot him? Well, if the reload is complete... Okay, there seems to be something on the ground which we are quickly reaching. The white stuff on the radars should be like neutral and the red dots are certainly some enemies, I guess. Hover 
Sniper mode coming fire. Oh man. Yeah, they almost got me, huh? Well, I would like to... Yeah, that's actually really realistic. So this is the hover mode of this um, fighter jet. Jet mode selected. Which makes it basically hover and fly like a helicopter, or at least hover like a helicopter, yes. So that was really, really cool. Pull up hover mode selected. Almost crashed. Incoming fire. In oh, incoming fire? Well, he didn't hit us though. Not hitting him. Incoming fire. Target deployed. And and if I would like to land now. Oh, I just need to push square. Incoming fire. Well, I love that. That you could actually land. Jet mode selected. Every, everywhere in the level. That seemed so cool to me back then. Because it is. There's an enemy jeep, I suppose. Oh shit, I needed to destroy... I need to destroy... Why can I not attack the helicopter? Come on. I know I can somehow destroy the bridge. Come on. Air to air. Damage taken. Incoming fire. Jet mode selected. Cover mode. Now you really pissed me off, guys. Who attacked me anyway? Incoming fire. Damage taken. Yeah, I see that. Incoming fire. Damage taken. Air to ground. Damage taken. Damage taken. Now this is how it goes. Damage taken. Cannon. Rocket. Air to air. Air to ground. Okay. Incoming fire. Damage taken. Damage taken. Damage taken. Damage taken. You fucking asshole. Damage incoming fire. Destroyed. But how was I supposed to destroy the bridge? They gave me Weapon out. Cannon. They gave me bombs, I know that. But I couldn't use any. So I should have are these enemies, yes. And even more of them. Taken. They will destroy me, I need to get away first. Cover mode selected. Incoming fire. Assholes. Oh, these are even some Some helicopters. Damage. Cover mode for help. Jet mode selected. Incoming fire. Cover mode selected. Damage taken. Where is the helicopter? Man, the controls. Man. There is a helicopter. I want to get a helicopter. I want to get a helicopter. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Jet mode selected. Cover mode selected. Now we gotta get them. Come on. I wanna. Target mode selected. Cover mode selected. No. Damage Just taken. don't be so quick, so erratic. You know, Incoming the controls fire. are so erratic. It's annoying. It's fuck. Damage taken. Oh. Damage taken. Yeah, that's just super annoying. Damage taken. Cover mode 
Well then fly away, please. Cover mode selected. Rocket incoming fire. What is he doing? Oh my. Jet mode selected. Incoming fire. Cover mode selected. Air to air. Cannon. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Can I please destroy one after the other? Can I not get him? Jet mode selected. In cover mode fire. selected. Damage taken. Damage taken. Fucking asshole. I'm coming Jet for you. I'm damage. coming for your ass. Don't worry. Incoming fire. Damage taken. Cover mode selected. So, how do I destroy the bridge? Do I need to basically fire on these parts of the bridge? Like, from beneath the bridge? It doesn't work. Of course he would like, shoot somewhere, but not on the fucking bridge. Cannon. Honestly, I'm not getting how I'm supposed to destroy it. I guess it's only possible... Mode selected. ...with the bombs, mode selected. which I would love to find. Rocket. Air to air. Cannon. There must be... A different no there must be a different a different uh, button to select the bombs jet mode selected hover mode selected rocket air to air cannon rocket air to air Maybe if I s push select, but then again I'm. Jet mode selected. Hover mode selected. Mm, what could it be? What could be the button combination? Well, of course, select turns off the game. 25 riot pulse pounding missions set across the Hawaiian island land area and sea attack rescue Oscar and special ops missions split screen mode. High res Icarus engine to give the most realistic free world yet seen. Huge range of weapons to deploy and enemies to destroy. Story based missions and so on. I really love it if I can find out how to control the thing in the game. Honestly, this seems like a really good game. Yeah, if you if you can figure out the the controls, then this seems to be a really really good well-made game. But Alice, I couldn't figure out how to check out the bombs. I mean, we've destroyed multiple enemies. We've seen some of the levels, so I guess that should be enough. And the last game we're going to look at is Music 2000. We played the precursor of this game and even made a little soundtrack in in the game. So yeah, you can check that out as well. It, is, it was one of the first um, issues of these demo CDs. So what does that have? 1000 super quality music riffs and video and much more. Welcome to this Music 2000 demo. Hope you enjoy the music, the most advanced music creation product on any console. If you're into music, then we're sure you'll be you'll be into Music 2000. Music 2000 is something for everyone, from Music Jam 
instant fun to advanced music making features that are sure to impress even professional musicians. With Music 1000, it's so easy to make great music. The simplest way to construct a song is by selecting from thousands of professionally written and performed riffs, drum beats, bass, la bass, bass lines, bass lines, melodies, vocals, etc. Included with Music 2000. These riffs can be found in the riff library. That's far too much to read. Well, let's check out the controls. Go back a level. It takes you to the main options if you get stuck. Square, uh, triangle, of course. Circle, open menu for the current level. You will find the other shortcut buttons and help text like this listed on each menu. Action is to select or paste X and square is delete. Use directional buttons on your controller, yeah. Press start to begin playback, yes. To end playback, okay. As a general guide, L1 up opens up the library of the current level and R2 opens the palette for the current level. Okay, what is the library and what is the palette then? We'll see. Select as a shortcut for editing areas. Remember, you do not have to navigate the product via the shortcut buttons. You can simply open the menu for the current level with circle and then select X. Select the option you desire with X. A music jam accessible from the main menu to the screen. Pressing select will open up the menu. Enjoy yourself. Well, that sounds good. Alright, now, now, here we go, so L1, exactly, and we can play that with, with start, yeah, I guess, and it's loading every single time, holy moly, Hmm. Yeah, that sounded kind of cool. Uh, I guess make it like four of those. And then... Oh, no, no, cancel, cancel, cancel. Um, no, wait, how do I... No, no, I, 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 no, please, don't, don't, don't do that. Like, okay, okay. No, no, I, I, I just let me go back. Okay. The riff editor is not available in the Zemo. In the full version, you will be able to create stunning riffs from scratch. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, how can I? This is only house. Are there other? Oh, now I'm at rock. Oh, but I can't use it. Okay. You got rock, you got techno, but can we listen? No. And trance and beat, drum and bass. Oh, we could use some drum and bass? Well, that's weird, isn't it? Okay. And then what is... And now we got house. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, this sounds awesome. <laughs> well, let's create that next to the other stuff we did. So how would you, how would that sound? Yeah, doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> so um, I would like to use the the voice. Is Oh, melody? Oh, 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 I get it. It's a house melody, right? Okay, sure. Hmm. 
Not too bad. This sounds so nice. Hmm. What is percussion? This is it? like to use some voices <laughs> oh there of course the vocals now what do we got sure mm -hmm. I remember so much of it now. I did. I really <laughs> did fiddle around with that right at the end of the '90s as a well, well, what, 11, 12 year old, and <laughs> even created little tracks and stuff. So a lot of memories rushing back right now. with insanity. insanity. <laughs> I wanna dance till I drop. What what would fit well with the little riff we did there? Let it take control. No, no. Maybe we could say something like, what, what was it, take my heart, and then, so that it fits well. Take my heart. Yeah, we'll take this, put it in here, no, no, and then, go for, yeah, 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 right next to it, so how does that sound? It doesn't really fit at all, <laughs> but whatever, right? So basically, <laughs> basically that's. Uh, can we actually look at video track? Really, we can create videos now. Okay. Oh, so these type of things. Okay. Um, gravity, let it flow. Okay, what is let it flow? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. I even put in some some videos and stuff, so I remember it all. Now that's uh, a long time ago. Shape anime spin. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I gotta say that sounds interesting. 
Okay. No. Um, what is biosphere? Uh huh. Well, they, of course, they're very basic. Um, I mean, that would make sense. What is electrify? Okay. What is evaporate? Okay. Now the next one that sounded interesting. Gold balls. <laughs> okay. Um good. So these are all types of alien skin. Come on. That that sounds really interesting. <laughs> okay. Super. So extra two anime sure uh, what do we got baby what is this extra 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 hard and these are all things that we can't choose okay but if we go what is music gem was load and save cd player options well okay clear me Music, clear video, clear all. No, no. SRAM available, 68% RAM available, VRAM available. <laughs> Riffs 4. Okay. Okay. What is music jam? Okay, it's an instant musical thrill of real time music jam. Choose your favorite style of music from whatever music collection we Spontaneous music mix, an easy and fun way to make music. Yeah, let's check it out. Or can we not? Oh, we can. Ooh, I'm not really getting what to do, though. Um. Okay, record jam. Yeah, no, 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 not, not, not record jam. Oh, it kind of doesn't really work. I just turn it off. Yeah, that's fine. We've basically seen everything that the demo has to offer. I mean, I won't be creating any hit songs anytime soon, I guess. So that should be it for this demo. As always, I hope you enjoyed it could enjoy some nostalgia with me mm, it would be nice if you could comment you know like just tell your stories from back then from 99 or what do you what you do think what you think of these demos today if you are younger and so yeah if you enjoy it please consider leaving a like a sub share the video and check out next sunday the next episode or check some other episodes on my on my channel on in the recording playlist, you know, PlayStation's own playlist. And until then, bye-bye. Um,